It's been a minute. It's been a month. <laughs> it's been a month. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to another video of Garnet Rose Stitchers. I'm Jeanette. I'm Cheryl. And I don't know what video we're I on. I think this is 20? 20. I think it's 20. Can you believe it? Weird. We've done 20 videos. I was like, wait. That's why I was looking at nothing because I'm like, crap, what is, <laughs> what video are we on? I can never remember what video 20. we're on. I think it's 20. Yes. Anyways, it, but it, it's been, it's been over a month since we last filmed. Yeah. And so there's been quite a bit going on behind the scenes with her and I and life and all of that. And so finally we're getting back. Y we're just like, oh, <laughs> we need to film yeah, it's been a minute. It's so it's been a bit. So anyway, uh, here we are, and yeah. it is um, what is today? Today is Tuesday, September third. Holy cow! Yeah, uh, a lot of people are back to school. We just had Labor Day. And... We're starting up our homeschool like next next week. I don't. I try not to do it before Labor Day because then you have like that day off. Mm -hmm. And like technically, we don't have to take it take a day off. Um, but it just was like, you know, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I'm like, if I don't have to take the day off and like have like a weird week, then I'm going to do that because sure. we school five days a week because the whole four days a week thing is stupid. Oh, that works for me. Now, preschoolers is different. Oh, true. Because they're preschoolers. True. I have one of those now. Yes, you do. Oh, it's a little terrifying. Little guy. It'll be fine. They're growing. Anyways, anyways. So we have a few housekeeping. Housekeepings. Mm -hmm. So okay, first thing is hi. I suck. <laughs> you don't. <laughs> <laughs> okay, like I don't know, two, three, maybe four videos ago, we had a giveaway, and people won, and they responded. And what? it was like back in June, I think, when we announced the winners or something, something like, like that. that. And I, they responded. Here they are. Hey, life happens. And here, here okay, so I'm going to say I didn't forget, but I forgot. Because <laughs> like, it's been a little nuts around here um, for oh. obvious reasons. But like, or maybe not so obvious, I don't know. Um, there's been a lot going on. Yeah. So I appreciate you guys being so, um, kind and not being like, yo, where's my giveaway? Pfft. Unsubscribe. <laughs> you know, like, I swear I'm totally like, I'll, I'll get it to you. I'm, I'll work on it this week. Cause it's all good. It's all good. And yeah. Life and happens and we will both of us. Cause we're both responsible for, I don't want all it going on her. No, this one was my, my duty. This one was my job because oh, you did the last one. I did the last one. So I suck. Hi. <laughs> That's okay. We will work really hard to be more. Efficient. Normally we're better we're at usually this. usually like right on top of it. Yeah, but, but I just, I don't know what happened. The last eight weeks have been a little, a little crazy and life, you know, is crazy. So here we are. Hi. Yeah. But um, also on that note, because giveaway, right? Um, Thank you so much for everybody who enters giveaways, who comments, who leaves the emojis I tell you to. Mm -hmm. Like, that's so fun to see that mm -hmm. because that means you actually watch the video. Yes. And you take the time to actually, like, if you're watching on TV, to, like, find the video on your phone and comment or on your computer or whatever. And I just think that's just awesome. Yeah, we love you guys. I appreciate that mm -hmm. very much because yeah. I know I watch on my big TV and then also watch on my phone. So, like... I know that, like, I have to pause the video so I, it doesn't just go to the next video. True. And, true. like, get it on my phone so I can watch it there and, like, put the comment on. And, you know, <laughs> I know it's a finagling. So, I get it. Um, also, if the lighting is orange, mm -hmm. we have a fire about 20 miles north of us. <laughs> We're kind of surrounded by fires right now. There's quite a few out there. And then there's smoke coming from Canada and there's smoke coming from... From the East, east Washington, Idaho. Washington? I think there's one in Washington. In East Oregon. Idaho. It's bad. And there's one like... There's one in Brownlee. Oh, that one's new. That's new. It just started. And then there was one that was on the Butte over there, which is about like 20 miles away from us. And it like took over the whole mountain. 
and it was yeah, like... Yeah, it's been the summer of fires. It's been awful. Like, close fires to mm -hmm. the valley, which normally doesn't happen. They're usually up in the mountains, or they're, like, further out. And then we just have to deal with the, the smoke effect of it. Yeah. Emmett is really bad, because we have, like, we're in, like, this little hamlet. Mm -hmm. So, like, we're surrounded on three sides with foothills and mountains. Yep. So, then you come down this hill called Freeze Out, and it like it's like like this mm -hmm. and you're in this little valley and so we if we don't have the wind going the right way it the smoke just, just sits. sits there and yeah. so it's been great that's how it is in star too it just sits it's gross it's barf so yesterday we had a little bit of clear sky and we thought we were going to get some rain and it like went all the way around us and we're i like, okay, we got we? some rain and we got a thunderstorm here when, oh yeah, that's the other thing that started is uh, fall baseball started for us. Woohoo! And <laughs> I have two kids playing, but they are so vastly different in ages that they are on different leagues. So one is in majors, one's so in minors. So no more with them playing the same same team. Yeah. So that's interesting because I only have one vehicle. So. That makes it a little bit more challenging to get to and from places, but um, it's fine. Work. It's That'll fine because you know, like we have um, we have friends that will take us places if we need to get there or whatever. Mm -hmm. But um, basically, it's going to be me and the younger two for the next like eight weeks. It's going to be great, constant. It's going to be great because they they fight. Oh. Just put them on opposite they ends of the They car. instigate. They yes, instigate they each other. <laughs> and they're They're great. brothers. They're little brothers. And that's how they do. So, yeah. The, <laughs> I wasn't sure. You're going to talk? I'm going to talk? <laughs> anyway. I mean, you can both talk. Um, so, there's been a little bit of confusion with regards to Cheryl and I. And when we uh, left our local LNS store um, to pursue our own misinformation. Yeah, just a misinformation, mm -hmm. confusion, whatever the case may be. Mm -hmm. So for those of you who know us and who have been following along with us for this whole time, mm -hmm. know our whole story. And um, I think I shared a little bit about me and my journey with my business, which has been ongoing for the last 10, 15 years. Mm -hmm. And so um, we just wanted to kind of clear up any confusion that there might have been with people with regards to what she and I are both doing yeah. um, with our futures and all of that stuff. So um, I um, am, am the owner of Bella Rose Needleworks and I've had that for gosh probably five years since I started in Etsy. Um, so I've had that for quite a while mm -hmm. and I make project bags and um, recently we expanded the business to include cross stitch and a handful of other things. After you left employment. After I left employment, yes. I think that is very important to understand. Yes, this is correct because I didn't want there to be any, um, oh gosh, um, bad feelings word? or. Yeah, and I wasn't. Or like, oh, look at what she did. That's so messed up or whatever. Anything it was, like it that. It was never, there was no anything until after she left employment. Correct. So I didn't start my official um, expansion of the business until after I had left my job. Um, I kept it very separated from what I was doing in my personal life versus what I was doing with my work life because I didn't want there to be any, um, uh, I don't know, hard feelings or I was very careful. You, you know? also don't want to be unethical because exactly. that sucks. Yeah. And so <laughs> like, I've, you know? I've worked really hard to keep a separation between what I'm doing in my personal life and what I was doing with my job. And my job was very important to me and I really loved my job and I loved all the people that I met. And um, it was a wonderful experience and I'm grateful that I had it. Um, and so I was, I didn't want there to be any overlap between mm -hmm. the two. And so I kept them very separate. Well, because it also would have been messed up. Yeah, and I would never... I would never do that. So, which we, you know, we touched on this also last video. Um, but the other, the other part of the the assumption or misinformation that's happening is that I am following her and I'm in, I'm involved in Bella Rose Needleworks. I am not. Um, I have no plans to be. <laughs> um, I'm gonna just be 
fully transparent because I feel like people who follow us and care about us um, deserve that. And I'm going to just say that I am not in any way wanting to be involved in that aspect of the needlework business anymore. I, I'm not going to say I regret working at our, at my last employer, but I, it was not never in my plan to do that. I was never going to be a person who basically ran a store, mm -hmm. uh, a retail space, even though I had plenty of experience to do so. I just, it was never in my plan, but, um, I was approached to do that. So, um, it is no longer serving my family or myself. And so that's why I left. And um, my business is Star Garden Stitchery. And my business is making quilts for people mm -hmm. and doing long arm quilting services. So by the way, anybody who has sent me a quilt or you're planning to send me a quilt, I love you. <laughs> because you're helping pay for cleats. There you go. That's Legit, right. like you're helping pay for my kids' mm -hmm. stuff. And so I really appreciate that because it helps out with those extra expenses. Um, but I just wanted to make sure that people understood that I'm leaving. I It, it was just coincidental that we left at the same time. Mm -hmm. None um, of it was planned. It was just, no. it just kind of happened that way. It was one of those things where like, I was planning to leave, but I hadn't fully committed that I was gonna. And then she's like, so I gave my notice. I'm like, cool. <laughs> So then a week later, I gave my notice for, you know, like it cemented, thing, situation cemented themselves. And so I just was like, okay, well now this is the time for me. And it just happened to be that we were leaving the same day. And um, I committed to stay through the retreat because I had promised many people that I would be sticking through that. Um, both, both uh, like, you know, in the business like, you know, on the business side of it. And then also like customers, I don't, I didn't want to like bail on people. Sure. You know? Well, yeah. Yeah. So, cause I know there were some people who came to the retreat because they wanted to see us. Mm -hmm. So, um, so I, I, for myself, I apologize to anyone that I hurt or offended or, uh, misled it was never my intention. I don't think you ever misled anybody to do that. And I mean, I have been grateful beyond words for the support that I have received from people who know me mm -hmm. and um, who know what we've been trying to accomplish for the last, you know, for the last many years. Yeah. And, um, you know, while I loved my job, um, it was time, that was kind of the, the push that I needed to make the next step because I think what was holding me back really was fear. And, and so it was kind of the, and you had, you, ha I th uh, that's the other thing is like, we both, if we hadn't worked there, if we hadn't had that LNS, we wouldn't have met each other. True. We, I, we, we our best friends, our fellowship, we wouldn't have met them. That's true. So true. I don't regret working there. No, I don't regret even. having the experience meeting all the designers talking to all the customers and making friends with everybody. I don't re I don't regret that at all. I, I just need to move forward. Mm -hmm. And it's time for me to focus on my kids. I am homeschooling mm -hmm. three children. Yes. <laughs> and none of them are, they're all like three and a half to four years apart. Mm -hmm. You're a little busy. Like age gap. Yeah. So there's no overlap anywhere. So my life is going to be very busy <laughs> and very full of homeschooling right now. Mm -hmm. And that's my focus. And that's always been be. my focus. Yeah, and my husband be. and I are both, um, we're both excited for this next chapter. Oh, and I am actually working on a website. Good I'm, for you. I'm working on a website because I still can't figure out the stupid Instagram with my old Instagram for oh. Star Garnet Stitchery. So It'll it's just time. be a dead Instagram, apparently, because I can't even access it. I can't access it. I can't do anything on it. So I'm going to be creating a new Instagram. I'll announce on my personal page, ShareBear0607, um, when I do that. So if you want to follow. And then um, once my um, 
my website goes live, I'll have things on there. I'm going to be selling my personal patterns that I've created. I have a really awesome pattern that if you watch Shorzy, it's in my brain. All right. Look forward to seeing that. It's hockey. Yeah. Trista. <laughs> <laughs> there yeah. You go. So um, I, we just wanted to clear that up and make sure that from, coming from us, mm -hmm. coming from Jeanette and I, where we are and that, you know, to clear that up, if there's any, because people do make assumptions. Sure. People do make assumptions and they, you know, or they take parts of what we say and pass it on like telephone. And by the time it gets back, it's like not even what we said. Um, and I think that 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 there's a lot of assumptions out there. And we all know about assuming. What does that mean? <laughs> it makes an ass out of you and me. Okay. Mm. So let's not do that. So Because it's annoying. And it causes a lot of problems. Mm. It can. Yes, indeed. So. so, yeah. So thank you to all of you yeah. for your support, for your encouragement, for your, um, for following us, for sticking with us. There's been a lot going on. And, uh. This yeah. is a new, exciting chapter in for both of us, yes. um, and uh, we're so glad that you're here. My favorite along with us. is bringing her along with me when I have to go pick up some quilts from a customer, <laughs> and we get to drool <laughs> at the at the at the room that this person creates. Oh in. yeah, and it's like that an entire fun. wing of a house, and we're just like goals. It's that like goals. like the wing yeah. of the house is literally this this size of my house. Uh huh. It was pretty cool. It was really cool. I'm like. So we're cool. doing this. So anyway, so moving on. Moving on. Um, Whips. Okay, hi. So I suck still. <laughs> and um, I didn't even bring mine today. Because you don't write in it. And you know what? I didn't write. Okay, here's my July. Okay. I didn't write in it because I was so busy dealing with the retreat. This is my August. I barely wrote in it. And I didn't do one of my whip goes. Oh. So I'm going to have to make it up somewhere. Although technically I could fudge it and say it was something else that I started, but I didn't work with silks. Oh. Did you? I did, actually. But it was a start, which we'll talk about. Okay. And then September just started, so. Oh, Lord. So full transparency for me, I think I have three whips that I brought. <laughs> But I've also been busy, busy. And for those of you that um, have supported the launch of Bella Rose Needleworks, um, I was overwhelmed by your generosity and your support. And so we have been very, very busy um, filling orders. We have, we've started shipping already. So for those of you that have purchased from us, um, we've already started shipping. However, I'm still waiting for probably 10 more shipments to come from designers. And so um, some of yours may take a little longer to send because we're still waiting to fulfill. Because you're shipping it complete. Yeah, because we're shipping them as com yeah, complete. Unless it's, it's something that's really going to take a while. Right. Um, well, and then, and then you can talk to the customer. And then, yeah. So anyway. Because that's the thing about Expo, or excuse me, Marketplace, is that it's not market where you go and you bring and you, this stuff right, back. And, you don't have the product, they're having to ship it to you. Correct, and so I'm waiting. I've got five coming today, and then throughout the week I've got some more, but I, I have some that I haven't even gotten notification from, so. And then you have to receive it. Right. And then you then you can start fulfilling it. Yes, so anyway, so uh, just be patient with us, but yeah, the orders the order? are coming, and I'm so excited. Oh, okay. So don't be angry because she brought ha part of my order today. I did. I did so she could share. And I forgot what I ordered. <laughs> so I'm like looking in the bag a little bit like, oh, like what's what in I here? Buy? So anyways, Sunshine here had a birthday. I did. And it was a big birthday. And if you follow our social media accounts, then you will have seen um, that... We went to dinner and it was a surprise and she had no idea awesome. and it was great. Yes. And yeah. for her I birthday, such good friends. for her birthday, um, our fellowship and anybody who wanted to could join in starting 
um, a stitch for Jeanette. And I started Nora Corbett's Aries. Now this is a start along. It was not like we're doing a stitch along. Mm -hmm. It was just, we're starting it. Cause this is very low on the totem pole in terms of like <laughs> needing sure. to finish. Cause I have another one. If you guys recall, I'm working on Virgo um, by Nora Corbett for my niece. And I, that's a turn and burn situation. Cause I gotta, as soon as I finish, as soon as I finish that model stitch for Annie, I have to work on that because it needs to get finished so I can get it framed. Okay, I don't even know what side's up. I think that's up. Ooh, I like the fabric. So that green it's, is um, amazing. Picture this plus 32 sure. count moss. Moss. Pretty. Yeah, and it's a linen. So. I mean, sadly, I started mine. I think I got two stitches in. Well, I think I got a length. A and length so of I didn't even like. <sighs> yeah. yeah, August was crazy. <laughs> yeah, August it was. was crazy. Cause this was started on her birthday, on her actual birthday, and I didn't expect you to actually stitch on your birthday. The fact that you even got a stitch in, I did. I was like, what? Huh? And I'm, did you stay up late to do that? No, I. And I'm trying to remember what in the world actually happened on my birthday. You went to see Frozen. No, that wasn't on my birthday. That was after. That was like the week after. But mm -mm. my birthday was on a Sunday. No, because the weekend the weekend after your birthday, we went to dinner. Correct. And it was during the middle of the week that we did Frozen. Oh. I don't know. I anyway, don't know what you did. If you guys you haven't seen the live action Frozen, it's so good. It's so good. My youngest for her graduation from high school, she that was what she wanted was to go see Frozen. And so that's what we did. We went and saw Frozen and it was really fun. It was great. Anyway. So it's gonna be sort of the Cheryl show because she doesn't have a lot of whips. I have like four. Come well, on. get one out. So my husband bought this for me since I finished the Yay. Halloween one. Um, this is a PDF off of their Etsy. So you're skipping November? I'm skipping November because I know that like, I'll be able to probably finish this by December. Oh. Fair enough. So um, that's how far I got. And I'm stitching this on a Lugana that I tea coffeed myself. That is really pretty. I love it. So um, that's the whitest it is. And that's the weigh-in. The weigh-in. the monthly weigh-in. Yeah, monthly weigh-in for December. And um, I am doing, because I don't like Monaco, as we know. So I decided to just get, yeah. I think I went, huh? I have a funny story about Monaco. Oh. Go ahead. But I went to um, Hobby Lobby or something, and they had, like, packages of 28-count even weave. That was Weigart brand. So I just bought that, and then I tea coffeeed it. So that's what this is. I okay. Oh, and then this is a Jeanette bag that I just bought. Woohoo! I love it. That's Teresa Kogut. Teresa Kogut. Love it. Okay. That's that one. So yeah, I'm working on one also stitching with the housewives. So I had started in March. I picked up the welcome home spring. When we went to market. When we went to market. And so I really wanted, I knew I wasn't going to get to spring. And so I am starting the welcome home fall. And this is just black. Oh, yeah. it's, what, is that linen? Do you, let me get a is. board. Let me get a board. It is. It's 28 count black. We home. <laughs> Here. That's as far as I got. Um, Here's a board. Yeah, it's, I had it in my stash. I think it's supposed to be stitched on 28 count, but I didn't have 28. Well, I mean, they stitch everything on 28 count. And this is linen. It's like a chalkboard. You don't have to do it on that if you don't want to. So, Here. silly goose. Does that work? Here. Here. There. That's, oh, that's better. That's better. Yeah, we home. That's as far as I got. And I'm playing around with the, the colors because the dye lot of the, the teal, which is the really um, tealy? Tropical Paradise, oh, wow. okay. is so light. I um, think it looks cool. And so this is actually a different color teal. Hmm. Um, it's not Tropical Paradise. It might be really, might really, be really tealy. tealy. No, because that's weeks. And I'm doing... No, it's not. Really tealy is... Is classic colors. Classic works. Works. All right. Anyway. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. So yeah, so I started that one and that's been really fun. I haven't stitched on black in a really long time. And so 
changing gears and stitching on a dark color <laughs> is different. So anyway, go ahead. So uh, a couple months ago, and by a couple, I mean like six, <laughs> um, I was working on Lori Holt's Calico Garden. I'll put a picture up here. Um, and I had been working on the pieced, the pieced border blocks. And then I decided one night that I was going to pull it out and just start working on some of these. And this is the primrose, primrose block. Pretty. And then the purple. So this one is not stitched down yet. So you can see it's kind of like. Oh, just kind of lay in there. Just fly. I, well, it's glued. It's glue basted. And then this one is fully stitched down. So, Those are so fun. You know, chunks at a time, right? Chunks. I mean, you got to <laughs> just do a bite at a time, one stitch at a time, that's, right? Well, that's how everything And then is. I got really distracted, so <laughs> you'll see. Um, do you have another one? Yeah, I got a couple in here. Okay. So, all right. Well, I don't know how many you have. How many? Um, you... Many. Oh, well, then you show another one because okay. I've only got a handful. Because you had your quilting in there, too. And I uh, don't yeah, know. okay, that's the other thing. How, how is quilting? I got a lot of, I got my quilty bug just like, like so good. It was just fabulous. So this one you've seen when it was just glued. Oh, it's way bigger than I thought. It's humongoid. Yeah, I thought it was like So it's tiny. this uh, buttermilk basin. And I think I'm only going to just keep the two that I got because the other version of these, it has the sewing machine going the other direction. So like the arm goes that way. Okay. Like, and it's, that's not what a sewing machine looks like. It, oh. It's like the sewing machine is backwards. Backwards. So like how we see it right now in the screen, that's what it would look like when it's on the thing. Okay. And now I, could you, rev you could reverse You can't it. reverse it because, I mean, I could if I got my own stuff and like kitted it up myself but if I wanted to do it the way that like um yeah. where I bought this from because uh -huh. it was a kit then it, it's already pre oh I see. lasered and pre-fused and stuff gotcha so anyway so this is how far I got oh it's cute um I added colonial knots onto the prairie points Very cute. um I haven't decided what I'm gonna do here yet to just tack those down but I have basically. I love this I guy. So I got the the moon, even though it's not. It's the like dial, right? Got that done. I was kind of color completing, like going with, by color, um, and then I totally just skipped that whole plan and just started <laughs> stitching it. Um, but I have. That's really cute. It's way bigger than I thought. It's. Huge. I thought it was like. <laughs> yeah, know. it's huge. And then so I have my Made by Megan cute fob in here with- I like the little box. Yeah, it's just a paper mache box from Hobby Lobby. These DMC? No. Oh, they're not. They're, um, they're a bunch of different brands, Finica and this one's DMC. Bless you. Excuse me. <laughs> the air is wonderful. It's great. Um, And then it's in my little tote or my little tray from I Old and Crazy. Tray. I love that. So. I have mine sitting by And everybody is back. wanting my tray. And I'm like, <laughs> no. Because I, I joined the quilt, uh, the local quilt club here. Um, well, I'm going to be joining it. Um, the first meeting of the year is on Thursday. So I'm going, I have to go to two meetings before they'll let me join officially. Even though oh, I've been okay. sewing with them all summer. But anyways. You have to be official. I have to be official. <laughs> so, all right. Um, I have... How many more whips do I have? I have two more whips. Oh, okay. I got three. Okay, you go. All right, I'll go. So I've been working on the um, Sampler of the Month series by uh, Country Cottage Needleworks. And I've got, I think, five or six of them done already. And so the next one is October. Cute. And so I'm... It's very October-y in here. It's, yeah, it is. I don't wait until October. It's very october -y. And so here's my... That's what I got done. It's not a lot, but we're Are getting... you using called four colors? I'm using all the called four colors because I started it... Back with in the, the day. Yeah. With all the called four colors. I haven't changed anything. 
You know what? Because if it was today, she would be like, oh, this, it would you be a up. different orange. You be It'd be quiet. a different orange, and it changed the green and the brown, and anyways. So what color, what is this? It's, it's actually, um, it's a 32 count. It looks like you tea coffeeed it yourself. Tea coffeeed, but the base was something else. I can't remember what the base was. Like a mocha? It was something just a neutral. And so then I just coffee tea Cute. dyed that. Adorbs. Um, and so it's a little wrinkled, obviously, because. Well, <laughs> you're stitching it. And you, you're probably so, stitching it in hand. I do. I stitched that one in hand. I yeah. Have. So anyway, so there's that one. It's really fun. I've got, um, whoops, March, uh, May, June, July, August, September, and this is October. So I'll have seven done. I'm excited. I would say get on that, but coffee pot. Yes. So, well, this will be done by October. This will be done. They don't take very long. So I just have to focus. So are we going to hold her to that? Yes. Like fully finished? Yeah. And like I'll, ready to go I'll on the thing? I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. By the next video, I will bring in the FFO. Okay? I will have it FFO'd by our next video. In time for October. All right. Okay? Okay. Okay. And y'all saw it here first. So. <laughs> it's going to um, hold, hold my feet to the fire on that mm, one. <laughs> I am not saying a word. Okay. Next. Okay, friends. So, um. You probably saw on my social media, but I am working on this uh, quilt along. Uh, Fat Quarter Shop is having like a 10 year anniversary quilty fun quilt along. Qu quilty fun quilt along. I think, what does it say? I don't know. Row along. 50, quilty fun, quilty row fun along. run. Quilty fun. Quilty fun row, row along. Because yeah. it's a row quilt, which is why they're calling it that. So I am doing this quilt with my friend Risa and um, we meet once a month, although in um, August we met twice because we actually had it in our schedule to do that. Fine. And we got caught up because July, neither one of us sewed on mm -hmm. it. So um, July we were, was a little crazy for everybody. Yeah. So um, let's see. So I have my butterfly block or row. Cute. I have apples. You had those ones done before. These right? ones were done, yeah. So apples. I had. Now are I, you using your stash? Your I'm Louisville using stash? stash, but I'm also adding to my stash if I feel like it. Because mm -hmm. it's my quilt. I can do it a row up. Or like if I'm missing a, a background or like, oh, I don't have enough of this color mm -hmm. or something, then I'll just pick some up. So these are flying geese. And I'm going to just say, I hate. I love doing flying geese. It's my favorite unit in quilting. I love them. Love. Love. Okay. Four at a time flying geese. Is a pain? I hate it. <laughs> it's, it, they're never accurate. They never, even if you're sewing with accurate seams, it just never, they, I mean, this is a hot mess. Like, y'all, look. I think it looks great. No. <laughs> it's a scrappy quilt. No, that's not what I'm talking about. Look at how the seams line. Oh, 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 I see. Oh, I, I got you. Yeah. I got you. So when I go and put this in a row, I'm going to have to like trim off stuff and I'm going to lose points. And that's annoying. So. Well, that's I, a lot of flying geese though. I, yeah. And so I did that. This still looks good. Um, I, I, I did the, you guys have seen this one, the chubby chevron mm -hmm. one. And the first one was the four patch. This would, that would drive me insane. What? Too many tiny, tiny seams. The way that she does it, it's not even like that. Oh, is it? Okay. No. And then the one that was for July was um, the Cocoa Cups. Cute. And so I'm using the new Hometown Holidays. Look at this. So I fussy cut this and then I applique it on. That is really cute. Was that part of the pattern or did you no, just No, I do did that? that. You did that? That's really cute. Because I'm extra that. like that. Yep. Um. So... And then I'm using the, the new Hometown Holidays for that. Cute. And then there's also Mittens that is next month. And I'm using Hometown Holidays for that, maybe. I need to go get some of that yardage. Yeah, well. And then this month. Priorities. This month, 
um, was Falling Leaves is what it was called. Oh, cute. And I'm using um, the fabric line Autumn, Autumn. by Lori Holt. And then the background is like her mason jar. Um, and one thing I did do, because she has you alternate the leaves where it's like going one way and then another. Mm -hmm. And it's just alternating the direction just in one way. But I had them just going in all the directions. Oh, I see. You turned them around. Yeah. And stuff. So that okay. up, down, side, side, right? Cute, cute. And then I do. I did fussy cut this so it would say thankful. Aww. And then this one says season. Wow. So. Cute. Because, I mean, if I'm going to do this, it's got to be cute. I know, right? I know. Um, it's going to be amazing. And then part of my haul, part of my haul was buying some fat quarters mm -hmm. and the, um, what's that called? The charm pack of autumn. And then, um, I bought some of this too, Cute. some background. So that's, I some of, it. so that's one of my whips. I lied. I had an extra one. Oh. So your turn. Okay. My turn. All right. Well, let's see. Um, I will show, but it's not too late to start this because it goes until next March. Are you gonna? Am Wait, I gonna... Go ahead. Am goes I until no, no. Are it you... goes until next March. Next March. And so, um, my friend and I are going to be sewing every month on it. That's so cool. Because then it gives us a reason to get together. Mm -hmm. Because I'm finding that I'm having trouble keeping that stuff. Like keep... my routine becomes so overwhelming with things I have to do. Mm -hmm that then I just get burnt out. Yep. And so this is something that is keeping me from yeah, that's good. having that burnout. It, it's like a refreshing. Well, plus you're getting together with someone and you're working on it together. Correct. And that's motivation too. And we, our plan is to actually finish it when we, when they say, because our plan is to have them quilted and we're going to enter them into a quilt show that is next June up in Cambridge, Idaho. Oh, cool. It's called the Upper Country Quilt Show. They have a Facebook group. You should check them out. Um, but it's <clears throat> it's a bunch of ladies that get together and they um, and they put on a quilt show every year. And That's there's so cool. lots of amazing quilts there. And um, the theme for next year is Oh Scrap. I love that. I love that. And this That's is pretty scrappy. scrappy. Quilt. I think yeah. it's about as scrappy as it gets. Yeah, and it's funny. Well, I mean, it could get scrappier. I could put like basketball fabric with unicorns and then that would be scrappy but i am a controlled scrappy person i can't go that off the rails oh okay it, i like it, it. it this is more i like that oh are we doing this now no no i no i like i like i was saying i like your, the quilts that you're doing that kind of scrappy oh yeah controlled That's scrappy controlled scrappy and even though like the quilt is talking about like it if you look at it it has like old fabric that's really bright I'm using all Lori Holt colors. So even like her muted colors, like prairie, um, you know, calico, all of those older lines that are like more muted. Mm -hmm. um, like even the Christmas, the hometown holidays, that's a more muted color palette. True. Um, Cause she doesn't use white. She uses like her color latte, which is more of a tan. Yeah, it is it's creamier. Yeah. So it's more of like a tea stain mm -hmm. type look. Um, and then I'm also using things that are from older lines that are like um, bright yeah. and just, I'm using everything. 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 <laughs> okay. So back in July, a handful of us decided that we were going to do a stitch along with uh, this chart by Dirty Annie's and it's called A Good Heart. And it says, I've got a good heart, but this mouth, and we thought it would be really fun to, um, do a uh, stitch along with that. And so um, a couple of us got together on Friday last week and we started um, and I didn't get very far, but I didn't either. It's still a start. Um, so here is my, <laughs> here's my very humble start. You got further than me. And so I just did a good heart. Do you want the bo the board? Um, this was my, uh, no, that's okay. That's okay. okay. all right. Yeah. Um, anyway, so I started with the words. So this fabric is Monaco. <laughs> <laughs> I had it in my stash and it was just a antique ivory that I coffee dyed because the ivory itself. Was Why just... is that so funny? 
because you don't like Monaco. <laughs> hey, you know what? If everybody else likes it, that's cool. Just so I don't mind. It was just, it was in my stash and I needed a kind of a neutral. I needed a neutral. Is it? That's kind of blurry. Oh, well, anyway, I needed a neutral fabric. And so this worked. Um, and there it goes. So it was trying to focus on our faces. On our faces. I got to get my face out of there. So that's my start. So and you started. The, I started mine too. Um, this was released at Marketplace. And I think you have it on your website, right? I do. Or on I, your it Etsy. is on my Etsy. So yes. I am not using hardly any of the color, called for colors. This is out of stash. Um, so this is my color palette. It's similar-ish. Um, but I have silks in here. I have DMC in here. I have class color works in here. I have weeks. I mean, it's great. It's all, it's all the things. And so like it's it great. might, when it's done, it might not look like this color palette, but it's still going to be really I cool. I don't care. <laughs> it's going to be cute. So I'm stitching mine on 36 count wean beans. Cause I had the other fat quarter left from, or fat eighth left from when we did our party chicken. Oh yes, 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 yes. So, um, this is a silk by Classic Colorworks called, is it that one? Which one is it? Finnegan Green by, it's a Belle Soir. Oh, pretty dark. That's a good color. Green there. So, um, yeah. And so I have like about an inch left of this border, which is like, it's like a checkerboard type pattern. So I have about an inch about maybe that silk left. Stitch is really nice. Yeah, and it has really good coverage. I'm stitching with one strand over two linen threads. It's um, 36 count. It's 36 yeah. count, yeah. So, I mean, you could do two strands if you want, but I didn't want to do that on this. So that's going to look really, really good. Yeah, so, so if you guys have this chart already, please feel free to join the cell. And we had you had a hashtag for it. Yeah, it's <laughs> good, good heart, dirty mouth. Sal. Good heart, dirty mouth, Sal. And it's a... I think. If it's not that, I'll put it here. So <laughs> we'll fix it. But anyway, if you have the chart and you want to join the Sal, please do. Yeah, it's if, kind of like a start along. If you don't... It's very loose. It's not like there's an end date or any of no, that. No, not at all. And um, if you've already started it, feel free to use the hashtag. We'd love to follow your progress. Yep. Um, I also have them in my Etsy shop. Uh, just really quick um, before we move on. We are moving from Etsy to a website, uh, probably within the next 10 days. Um, and so um, we're finishing up the rest of it now, but you can still shop on Etsy. I'm having too much problems with Etsy and I'm tired of telling you. So that. you're probably gonna be doing an announcement, I would assume. So yeah, there, there will be another announcement. Um, and uh, you can actually find the website. It's bellaroseneedleworks.com. And um, it doesn't allow you into the website because it's not active yet, but you can subscribe and it'll give you a notification when the uh, website goes live. So, well, and the subscription is free or the subscription is, yeah, it's, it's just, just a, like to sign up. Yeah, it's just an email, you know, thing. same contact kind of thing. So, yeah, uh, no pressure, but if you want to subscribe, um, yeah, just go to the website, bellarosenewworks.com, and uh, you can put your email in, and then it should send you a notification when the website is ready. So, what you got? So, <laughs> I have loved this quilt kit for, actually, since I first went into JK Quilts when they were in their original location. Oh, I have been shopping there since then. Since so they six, opened. six years? Yeah. Basically, six years? We, we were driving to pick up one of those little folding tables for kids. Like someone was selling a set on hmm. Facebook Marketplace. And they had a little sandwich board sign on the road saying quilt shop with an arrow. I was like, we are going there after I pick this up. <laughs> and so I walked in and it was Lori Holtland. And I was like, I've died. I've died and gone to heaven. heaven. <laughs> and so like Sarita's like, welcome. And then Jen was there and I don't think Liz was, but I met Jen and Sarita first mm -hmm. and I've been shopping there since then. And I think wow. they had just opened maybe like two months before. So they were brand new. Brand new. And this was hanging up in there. And I was like, this is amazing. And I just, you know, 
overwhelming and I was sure. <clears throat> working on that, which I have a finish. She's gonna share. So this is called Cozy Christmas. This is done with the fabric line Cozy Christmas. Um, it was an original fabric line back from 2016 that Lori Holt produced with Riley Blake and she had this quilt along. And um, it's, it's her, it's an applique quilt using so simple shapes. Cute. You know. And actually I borrowed these from my friend because I don't have them. Um, but any who's you wetsy. <laughs> she, uh, I saw this and I was like, oh my gosh, I love it. You know, and I, I then it like, you get distracted. Sure. And you forget, right? You forget about because all the new shinies. Yeah. And I, Squirrel. Yeah. And so um, I worked on so many other quilts since then, Lori Holt ones or otherwise, mm -hmm. that I just, you know, I kind of forgot. And then um, I was on Facebook one day and someone had posted something about the fabric line Cozy Christmas. And I was like, oh yeah, there's that quilt that I like. And I was like, let me Google it, you know, Lori Holt Christmas quilt. You know, someone loves you. Oh, you okay? I'm fine. It's fine. Okay, it's cool. We're good. Anyway, continue. <laughs> I just dropped stuff. Sorry. <laughs> um. So, anyways, these, um, I found a place because this fabric is not out of print, but the quilt kit is so old. It's from 2016. Mm. So it, the actual kit, itself. the kit itself. Okay. It's harder to find because in its entirety, like in its original form, one of the fabrics has since been discontinued because about six years ago or so, maybe a little bit longer, I don't know, time is weird. Um, <laughs> the Vintage Christmas book by It's Oema and Lori Holt came out. And that's when they kind of like did a revamp of the fabric line and they changed how they print them and they adjusted the skews and things like that. And one of the fabrics went bye bye. So one of them is like a, it's like a reindeer print that was a multicolored reindeer print. Mm. And that's one of the main prints that was used in the original quilt. However, I found a place online who has this kit and they just adjusted the requirements. Oh, sure. For using another fabric. Like, who cares? I'm cool with that. Yeah. You know? And so um, my husband was like, I'm tired of hearing you talk about it. <laughs> so he let me order it he didn't say that he he was like I know you've been wanting this for a long time I mean it's been on my Christmas and birthday list for years like two years at least um yeah so I got it last Monday and I have all of the blocks already either glue basted wow or there's Here. some of them have been um put so cute some of like I'm doing if I have thread on my needle that matches then I'll just like skip to another block you know and then this is Rudolph and then I changed the I changed the fabrics here and on the nose and then this one is cocoa cup with marshmallows oh, and yeah. it'll have it'll have embroidery yeah I see that so on there. you can see that I'll add the embroidery there cute. and then yeah. Here, I'll take them off. Okay. And you can put on And then ones. I got some uh, candy canes. I have a gingerbread man. And after I quilt... His little face. I know. After I quilt it, I'll add buttons. Stocking. Cute. This one will have buttons and embroidery. The buttons will be added after. So this part is going to be like earmuffs. And then the, the buttons will be the things that go on the ears. Oh, uh-huh. Um, and they're going to be green because that's the button I had. That is probably, I think with applique, that's probably my favorite part is the embellishing. I like the adding of the little accessories and yeah, that part. And then I have a bell because, you know, every time a bell rings, right? I have this um, gingerbread oh, house. Oh, the house. And um, th it'll have a button here for the door and then some buttons here for flowers, even though like in the winter, do, there's no flowers, but <laughs> whatever. Could do snowflakes. Who cares? Snowflakes. I think maybe they're meant to be like gumdrops. Oh, okay. Oh, maybe. Um, and then this one is technically complete, 
but I'm going to be adding buttons after to be like baubles on the tree. Little ornaments. Oh, and there will be a, a bigger one at the top for like the Star. topper. Mm -hmm. And then the wreath. Cute. So this quilt is called Cozy Christmas. And they will have um, piecing around the outside of each block. Um, so you can see there. And I'll, I'll try and find a picture really of cute what show. a block looks like mm -hmm. when it's pieced because the picture's not the greatest on That's here. Right. But um, to say I love this quilt is an understatement. Mm -hmm. Well, you've already made so much progress and you just got it. I've been, I just am like, I think I worked on glue, getting them all glue basted at once so that I could just get them all done. Yeah. And then um, I made one block. I made the bell first just to see what it would be like, you know, even sure. though it's not like I haven't made a Lori Holt quilt before. <laughs> Nothing's new, right? right. But um, if I were to make this again, this quilt, which I might make it again mm -hmm. in general, just a second version but like out of hometown holidays oh yes yes mm -hmm. i support it i knew you would <laughs> support it so um that's i worked on that a lot and then i also um finished fully finished a quilt cool which we can talk about do you have right. any more do you have i any have more two looks? more okay go ahead i have two more it's your turn i've got let's see um is this the right one? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. So what do you want to do? This is. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, here. This is Summer Folk by Hands On Design. And um, Autumn Folk just got released, and I want to start it desperately, but I want to get this one done first. And so I'm actually pretty close. Um, <clears throat> this is 32 Count Oaken by Picture This Plus because I didn't have the called for here fabric oops there we go there we go so yeah i've got quite a bit done i've got a few of the alphabet left and some flowers down here at the bottom and then it's got a lot of really fun embellishing stitches smyrnas and um a whole bunch of others um and then a bunch of back stitching which i haven't gotten to yet but this has been such a fun um a fun design because you know you can kind of do them in little sections you know you got this band here and then this band here and all of the specialty stitches which are kind of hard to see but um, it's been really really fun um, I love this series I think I have spring and summer so I started with mm -hmm. summer hoping that I could get it done by summer but I thought you got spring at market I did because that's when she released it so okay um yeah the series started she had all four of them finished, but... On the wall. On the wall. Yeah. But you could only buy spring at the time, so... Right. Um, and I think the autumn one was originally, like, a um, a retreat exclusive that mm. she had released now, because it's been a year. It might have been, and I, I actually have this board, mm -hmm. um, and it is a... Um, Chantel. Chantel's... Actually... It is a Chantel. It is. Yeah, it yeah. is. Yeah, I remember. I remember you going. I don't want to get that board, but I need to get that board. But I need to get that board. How am I going to get this board home? So it went I in did. my suitcase I instead. Did. Yeah, I did. Hmm. So, um, but yeah, Chantel's one forty one has the board, um, and that one's been a really fun. I really enjoyed it. So, because you can work on it in little sections, and so that one's almost done. So I might have another finish. Maybe we'll see. There you go. Do you have any other? I have a finish. So, you have a finish? All right, mm -hmm. I have one more whip. Okay. Um, but it also goes into kind, kind of haul. I mean, but anyway, uh, go ahead and show your finish. Um, okay. Your spectacularness So of I need to scoot this back. So okay. if you recall, um, you don't have to scoot yours back. Okay. I just need to, so I could access. Oh. Um, so if you remember, like, I don't even know, it's like a, almost a year ago that I finished... I finished the pillow. Oh, yes. I finished the pillow. Mm hmm Of, um, this is from Sweetie Pie. This is also Lori Holt. I don't know if you know this, but I'm obsessed with Lori She's Holt. a little bit. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a mega fan. But I don't, uh, I don't have a problem with that. Because I love Lori Holt. I just don't have as much 
Little tea time as you. Well, you're also a cross stitcher. True. I'm a cross stitcher who makes things, and I like the idea With of quilting, but, but I just I. Can't. It's not your thing. It's and that's fine. okay. So maybe um, someday. Um. So as you know, I had to get a new machine, a new long arm quilting mm -hmm. machine, because my last one died, and my machine was so old that they no longer make the machine or the parts. So the uh, the manufacturer's like, well, I can try and source a part for you, which to me sounds like either expensive or it's not available to me, like it could not ever happen. Um, and also like it might fix the problem. Mm -hmm. It wasn't a guarantee Too big of a risk, I think. that it was going to fix, right? So I ended up getting a new machine. I got an APQS Freddy. Um, it has a regulator <laughs> and that makes um, all the difference. Yeah. And it, it, there's no computer on it or anything like that. So it's still, you know, hand guided by me, mm -hmm. um, because I like it like that. Um, I, I'm not one of those people that says, Oh, you know, computer quilting isn't quilting. Like that's not a thing. I think if you quilt it, it quilts, it, it's quilted, then it's quilted. It's quilted. Right. Yeah. But I just prefer, um, as a service and when I complete the quilts that I prefer to do it myself. Sure. Um, and I do have a customer quilt that is also a Lori Holt quilt. Um, and you've seen it before hanging up the one with a giant pink, um, sewing machine. Mm -hmm. It's called my happy place. It's humongous. Um, she wanted me to custom quilt that quilt for her and I've had it in, I've had it sitting there, but then my machine broke. Oh, right. So I, you know, dealing with, um, getting all the stuff for the retreat done because that was priority because, you know, it was my job. And <laughs> even though I was leaving, it was still my job, right? Right. So, um, so I had that and then my machine broke and my machine came and was finally set up like the day before I left for the retreat to like get it oh, started. So sure. I couldn't even like do anything on the, on the machine except for like turn it on to see if it started. You know, like, and I loaded like a scrap piece on just to see if it would work. But like, I didn't do, I couldn't practice or do anything. So, um, I explained to that customer in advance what was going on. And, um, I said, you know, when I'm done with the retreat, I'll have time to practice. I have a top, a quilt top that is a, an applique quilt that is mine that I can practice on to mm -hmm. make sure that I understand what the machine does and how it works and, um, you know, make sure I understand like what mode I need to be in for specific techniques and things like that. Cause the last thing I would want to do is load that machine or load that on the machine and then have it just be trash, mm. like trash quality. Sure. You know what I mean? Sure. Or have to like rip out a bunch of stitches, which could affect like the appliques I didn't want to do that. So I thought like the prudent thing to do would be to practice on my own quilt, even though if this one had gotten ruined, I would have been very sad. Um, <laughs> yes. But I would rather take one for the team than um, ruin, potentially ruin someone's quilt. Absolutely. You know, Absolutely. that would not be very that good. Terrible. That wouldn't be a good business uh, thing or ethical either. So I, did, I explained that to the customer. She was fine with it. And actually her quilt is in the process of getting quilted. Woohoo! Because I finally finished my, um, my, my version of Sweetie Pie, Here, um, which is an older Lori Holt pattern, which is just basically a Dresden. Oh my gosh, it's so big. It's so big. You won't be able to see it all, but. No, we'll have to go in sections. So, um, this is custom quilted, 100% quilted by me. So I, the only thing that's done by the computer is the regulation of the stitches, but everything else I did myself. Wow, this quilt is huge. It is humongous. It's actually bigger than my happy place. I did the, I did the comparison. So, um, so there's all these different fruits and it just goes all the way down to hmm. <laughs> Wow. So you just see So what's there. the actual size, the overall size of this guy? I don't remember. That's Large. <laughs> humongous. Almost a queen. It's almost a queen. Oh, it looks bigger than a queen. It's not. It, if it oh. had like another six inches on each side, it would have been perfect for my bed. 
It doesn't actually fit on your bed? It does. It just doesn't have a big An enough over, oh, over okay, I got gotcha. you. Like, it overhangs on the side, but not enough for my liking. I got gotcha. you. So, and then I added, this is not part of the quilting. Um, oh, I like Or that. the pattern. So, I added vintage trim. Is that hard to do? No. Um, and one of the things I did to make the, like, an echo of these mm -hmm. here is in the corners i went ahead and i used the so simple shapes to trace with a water soluble pen oh cute um yeah and then i so they're all different but i use the shapes to create like the template and or then whatever and then the i top. stitched over the mm -hmm. top of the the pen and then i did the water soluble cute. so um it's really cute show and then I did a piano key border, so I alternated. And then on one side, it says, so cherry on this side. I, in cursive, I quilted so cute. cherry. <laughs> you can't really see it very well. No, but that's cute that and you did then, that. Um, and then on this side, it says sweetie pie. And then I forgot I need to add a button right here for under on the eye cute yeah that's great does this get anything more do you put buttons nope. on it or anything or no nope. this is basically ready i'm any embellishments that i add at this point were ones that i added yeah um so like adding the vintage trim on there was cute. me like deciding to add that cute and so um See, yeah i wish i had patience for Doing all of so that. the thing about uh, the thing about the Lori Holt applique method, it's a so simple shape is what she calls it. But basically, what those are just templates, mm -hmm. and you use those to trace your shape, which is your sewing line, onto sewing interfacing, and then you put that on on top of a piece of fabric face up, and then you f you sew on that line, and then you flip it, and then you press you shape it with so a it's turning tool. As... It's not hard. And you can technically do it all with machine because then you can come back and instead of hand stitching this, you can do your machine and do either a zigzag or a blanket stitch or, or something on, or even just like a running stitch, just like a straight stitch around the edge. All you right. can do that too. Right. So the people who really like the applique, but they don't want to do any handwork because if they are like you, who, if you're doing handwork, you'd rather be doing cross stitch. cross stitching. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and I'm the opposite. If I am doing, if I have the option for, handwork I'm going to do, do which is why I have that quilt mm -hmm. mostly done because the rest of it is just but if I can easy. do this on my machine I mean in my I, in my opinion because okay I'm fast at hand stitching I'm fast at hand stitching I'm ha I'm fast at getting that done especially if I don't have to change my thread color like if I'm using like a hundred weight um wonder fill thread it's called invisifil so if I use that I don't even change my thread color and then I'm just like, you just whip through it. Yeah. And then I'm done. Like I finished this in a day. Finished stitching all of that down. Wow. In a day. That take me forever. All so right. maybe I need to come and have a lesson from it's, Cheryl. It's really not hard. It's more just like, do you want to do it? Because I mean, some people don't, they don't find the joy in it. And that's okay. Everyone has the thing that they, that that's makes true. them happy. This is something that makes me happy. The backing is cherries. Cute. And then my friend Risa gave me this label. And this was given to me. I started this in 2019, January of 2019. Jacob wasn't even a thought yet. Oh, wow. Yeah. Tells you how long <laughs> my <ago. laughs> husband. My husband was on a frozen fishing trip up in Cascade with his uncle. Wow. And I had the, t the two kids, the only two kids that existed at the time. And I started it during nap time, I remember, because I had my oh table my in that alcove right there. Yep. Cute. I remember it. So There you go. And this was given to me by my, I call it my boys. So it's my husband and my kids because they gave it to me for Mother's Day. And um, now that I've shared it on here, I'm going to be doing a reel on, um, on Instagram. The story of this quilt cute because this quilt was my first Lori Holt it taught me everything that I know about Lori Holt and that's really cool I just have to I don't think she'll ever watch our video but if she does I just want I her to you. know that she is a true inspiration to me 
and she has helped me through dark days and she has helped me like grow as a quilter and she inspires me. That's really like cool. literally every day. I just have to look at her Instagram and I'm like, cool. So I <laughs> up that game up. But like I I just see I see um I see her and in, in her creativity and like I want to do all those things. That's I want to awesome. be that. Like, can I be you and I grow up? But yeah. You are. So I just this is the first quilt I ever big quilt that I ever did on my new machine. So you can kind of see like I'm still learning how the machine works. Because having a regulator is different from my old machines before I didn't have a regulator. So I'm kind of having to reteach myself how to do specific motifs. Um, but I'm able to do like plume feathers better, which is nice. Like bump back feathers like these here. Mm -hmm. So, um, and I also want to say um, Julie Stubbs was the, the lady who originally quilted her uh, Lori Holt original quilt. And I... I used some of her quilting as inspiration. And I told her that at Stitch West. Oh, when I very met her. cool. Yeah. Because cool. I was she was like, Hi, I'm Julie. And I looked at her name tag and said Julie Stubbs. I'm like, I know you. <laughs> and she's like, You I'm like, you're Lori Holt's quilter. And she she's like, How'd you know that? Ultra mega fan. Mm -hmm. Ultra mega fan. <laughs> so anyway, that's my big finish. There you go. That is spectacular, Cheryl. And I'm world's okayest quilter. You are more than okayist. <laughs> you are more, more. I try. I try really hard. And anybody who gives me a quilt, like just know that, like to quilt, to quilt, or um, you want me to make you a custom quilt, just know that, like that, what you saw there, I put that kind of love into everything. Everything, I make. absolutely, and it shows. It shows everything I make. Like it doesn't matter where it's going. I think if it's for somebody else, I even try even harder. Mm -hmm. I yeah, know, I'm like, that. I'm harder on myself. Like, oh, I, oh messed, my gosh, yes. I messed that up. Time to rip that out because I usually don't use my seam ripper. <laughs> okay. So that's all my finishes and I don't have any other finishes. Oh, okay. Well, I have one other whip, but boy, it's kind of hard to follow <laughs> that one. <laughs> you so Go. Like, wah, wah. You got it. Oh, well, anyways, anyways. I believe in you. Okay. Well, thanks. <laughs> Appreciate it. <laughs> is it that, is it that one? Um. That. It is. Oh. Okay, so I signed up for the Blooming Roots series, gosh, probably three months ago. Before she, yeah, before before, before the, the finality of everything. Before. And I love the series, um, and they're already on number two, but that's okay. Actually, I don't think they've shipped number two yet, but this mm -mm. is the first one. They just released, like, what yeah, it looks like. Yeah, just a picture. And so this is um, Pumpkin Blossom Place. And this is the first in the Blooming Roots series it's by adorbs. Stitching with the Housewives. And I... After I finish my weigh-ins, I'm going to do that. Um, I super love this series. Um, it's been a lot of fun. In fact, it... Are you stitching it on Monaco? I am That's stitching so it on Monaco, <laughs> <laughs> which is really funny. And this is just um, just 28-count white Monaco that I coffee dyed because I wanted it to have a little bit of color and I've already gotten most of the first part done and I started down where the house goes. There'll be two separate pieces. And you're using the called for threads. I'm using the called for threads. It came as a kit, not with the fabric obviously, but um, it came like this. The floss kit. All the flosses came in a little bag. And so when you sign up for the, the series um, each month, when they release it, they'll send you the pattern and the uh, the floss. And you're trying to get this in the store, right? In your store? Yes, I'm trying. So, um, yeah, I'm having a bit of a challenge, but we're working on it. Um, but then I also was extra because I couldn't not. You have to. And so I had to buy the, the I house. I haven't painted it yet, but here's the Paisleys and Polka Dots house. And then... I think they're going to do four sets of mm -hmm. these. It's like they did with the um, the weigh-in. The weigh-in is like that, too. has its little mm -hmm. accessories. And yeah. so these little guys go here. She said you could get these on her Amazon shop. I actually found the greenery at Hobby Lobby. Oh, okay. And it came in a spool. I didn't bring it, but it's like yeah. a little spool, and it's got wire on it. Oh, that'll make it easy to, like, mm -hmm. wrap around. And it's long. It's like, I don't know, 20 yards or something. And so I, I don't know how many I'll be able to get. I'm hoping I can get four out of one thingy. You know what you could do is the ones that are winter, you could have it be like sprigs 
Oh, of, like, that would be cute. So it's different because mm -hmm. it and you have it go for whatever. Yeah, like, that would be the really, theme really cute. Yeah, that's a great idea. So anyway, I'll be playing around with this. I haven't painted on my so yeah, my, I have my way in for October done. Like it's like the so. the stitch is done, mm -hmm. but I haven't FFO'd it because I haven't oh. had time to paint my my scale. Gotcha. So that's all right. I'm hoping you got lots of time. I don't know because I have a birthday for a kid this weekend, so I'm not sure. There you go. If I'll have time this weekend, and we have so. baseball. <sighs> Too many, there's lots of things. <laughs> lots of things. It's fine. Then like it's trying fine. to it, the other thing about like when you're starting a business is like it's it's full like it's it's go time and so like because I was playing catch up mm -hmm. because I had customer give me quilts before I left my last job and then things changed with that so I had to like put my job like as priority which it should be because i was be. still working there yeah for sure um and so i had and then my machine broke so i was behind by like six weeks and i finally got i literally just i haven't done anything but quilt i think i'm behind more than that more than probably 10 because i've got yeah. bags <laughs> i have i have bags and just for so that you guys know so those of you that started following bella rose needleworks when we were just bags i'm still making bags so don't panic <laughs> well that was like the whole reason why you decided to start carrying cross stitch is so that you had something that kind of sustains the business while you're making bags correct and something to kind of coincide so yes. they kind of go together anyway um but yeah I'm, be the, I'm still making bags i'm also prepping for stitch west which is at the end of october and so i'll be making bags and totes for that yes ma'am since I can't go to Stitch West, yeah. are you going to let me come and look at what you have before you go? Oh, we'll see. Maybe. I think I could probably even do that. Especially if there's some fabric front bags. <laughs> yes, there will be. So, yeah. We've got lots of those things coming. Um, I like, haven't forgotten and we haven't neglected. The ones that have the. To pursue the. The, the diagonal. Mm -hmm. the, oh, the, the, the jelly roll ones. Yeah. I do like the jelly roll ones. I know they're time consuming, but so, I love them. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I've got a better process, I think. I'm going to kind of revamp a little bit of how I do my construction so that they aren't so time consuming. Because I got time be, is money, friends. I got to be knocking those out. Mm -hmm. So, anyway. okay. So, are we down to, uh, I think we're down to haul. Yeah. There you go. Mm -hmm. That's all my An stitching. hour in, friends. I know. We talk a lot. We do okay though so this is not haul this was a gift i don't know if anybody watches the chosen mm -hmm. um we are both well she's catholic i'm i'm catholic too but christian we're christian faith right mm -hmm. um we believe in jesus we do um indeed my husband um i saw this when i was at barnes and noble and i was like oh that's cool and they took a picture of it and then he found it on amazon like that night and just shipped it to us because he's like Aww. why didn't you just buy it that's weird so um he got this and this is like a that's cool a blended harmony of the gospels so it has it's like a continuous story oh okay it, but it's broken up into 40 days so it's like a devotional mm -hmm. so i am planning to start that on the first day of school oh you know because even though i'm the teacher i still have to learn absolutely don't you know we mean? all so oh, we all that's lovely so that was Love a that. gift and then this was also a gift because <laughs> can we not even do i need another Lori holt thing no but here we are my husband i think i actually have that book you do you bought the last one. Oh, okay <laughs> but i have um this is a book that i've wanted for a long time since it came I out i didn't know you didn't already have yeah that. and i didn't i didn't buy it. i think i was trying because we only had so many at the shop and sure I was trying to let people buy it, you know, instead of me, like, being greedy or whatever. <laughs> and so, um, my husband ordered this off the internet and had it shipped to I me. I love it. He, he knows that I was having a trying time, so he wanted to cheer me up. Oh, he's got such a good heart. He does. He's a good guy. Do you have any, um, any haul? <laughs> Do I have haul? <laughs> Do I? Do I have a hole? Oh my goodness. Let me tell you. 
I have a haul. Um, it's not actually my haul, but it is haul. Um, it's well, it's I, not I your just, haul. And I, I only brought one. So this is full of charts. This is full of charts that I just, this is my, this is my temporary uh, organizational. And I've got several more of these at home that are full of charts, but these are all um, marketplace. Uh, some I've got Teresa Colgate in here and um, here, I'll just pull one out. Oh, let me tell you guys, this one right here, I think it's sprouting lupine. Uh, is it lupine or is lupine? I think it's lupine. I don't know. You anyway, tell us. but this chart right here, I have to tell you, that was the most popular chart that I sold. And um, it is really cool. Yes. Um, and so Kat did an amazing job with that design. And it's all DMC. It's all DMC. Um, I just thought it, that Acorns, was just Acorns, Jobelin from Be Stitch Me is what the called for fabric is. But you could stitch this on any like. Mm -hmm. But isn't that a cool, that's a cool chart. It anyway, is, I just grabbed one. I'm pretty I sure know. I but yeah, do I have that one. So I'm not going to show you all of my haul because we'll be here for days and days. But Oh, because you bought everything for your shop. That's uh -huh. your haul. <laughs> that's my haul. Hmm. That's, that's lame. <laughs> what do you mean that's okay, lame? Okay, so. Whatever. <laughs> Shut up. So I have, I got, I pre-ordered this book. It's a Harry Potter um, Hogwarts, the official Hogwarts book of Cross Stitch. You're kidding. That's cool. So it, I, I can't really go through it because it shows the charts, but like, you know, there's a portrait and far away it looks great, but up close it's a little sketch. Well, it's pixelated. Yeah. Um, there's one serious black. black. I like the castle one. And this one I pre-ordered off of Amazon. Oh, yeah. That's a cool book. Look these at those bookmarks. bookmarks. And you stitch these on like a canvas or um, like Hopefully. a plastic. Yeah could probably use that perforated thing. Dueling club. That is very cool. That's a cool book. I've never It is seen cool. That. And I would give it like a seven out of oh, ten. That I'd stitch this one. My favorite. Uh-huh. <laughs> She's the devil. Her umbrage. <laughs> She's the devil. <laughs> she is. <laughs> uh, Hagrid's hut. That's cool. I like that one too. Yeah, I would stitch that for sure. Because I mean it's all fall like and everything. Yeah. Um fall. And then there's some um, oh, the there's what are these called the shields or whatever you call yeah, them. Yeah, those are cool too. Yeah. Wow, that's not bad. No, it's 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 a great book. I would give it like an eight out of ten. Cool. Cause some of them I'm like, oh yeah, okay. And then some of them I'm like, I would never stitch that in my life. <laughs> or like that could be, really be done fun better. For a small though. Yeah. Like even a small would be cool. Those are cool. Time um, turners. So I bought these happy charms. From the new um, hometown holidays, I already g I gave one to my friend. I gave the wreath one, and then I got this cute coriander quilts. Fabulous houses number nine. I can't wait until the um the fairy house or the haunted house. Haunted house. Yep. How is this number nine? That's just how she released them. But it's not the October. Correct. Right. Okay. Correct. And then I don't know if I showed this already, but gathering together. Got that. Mm -hmm. I also <sighs> got this. I love it. So this is from the Autumn Fabric Line by Lori Holt. And this is the box kit by Riley Blake. So the only way to get this box, this kit is if you buy the boxed kit from a retailer. Mm. Um, and this is what the quilt looks like. It's called Pumpkins and Haystacks. It's a really cute quilt. Yeah, and the pumpkins are appliqued. And then this is what it looks like. That, so you take the lid off and that's what it looks like. And then you open it and I've already opened, like, you know, taken it out to look at it and stuff. Cause of course, <laughs> but that's, <laughs> what it looks like cute oh i think this is the only way you can get the template too yeah the, they had exclusive templates which is really the pattern because the rest of it is just like a yeah. like a i cute. forget what this block is called but that's amazing wow that's a lot of fabric mm -hmm. you get two mm -hmm. two layer cakes two layer cakes wow 
That's fantastic. And it fits in here. And Perfectly. I'm pretty sure the one for the uh, hometown holidays has shipped. But I haven't heard correctly if mm. that's correct or not. All right. But I got that at Maggie's. So, cool. Um, And then I have my other haul. What's your other haul? Are you gonna share? Do you want to share that? Do you want me to? You, well, you can. It's okay. completely up to you. You don't have to. So it's the Cheryl show today. <laughs> it usually is the Cheryl show. I'm just the. Uh... I got the Trainway Silk Pack for the Counting Puddles Llama. Actually, there's three that go with that. Correct. There's a, there's a sheep, a goat. Yeah, snowflake goat, snowflake sheep, snowflake llama. They're cute. Be scared by Kesslins. Now, where am I going to put all this stuff? The question. <laughs> that is not my problem. Oh, the proper stitcher. Okay. I am totally screwing myself. Oh. You want to know why? Why? Because this is a series. It is. And I need to know more. Okay. Okay. So, proper stitcher. These were released at Marketplace. Thankful for you and boo you. Stop it. Okay. Also, <laughs> Megan. This spider only has four legs. I'm stitching it like that. Because it it's not scary, creepy spider. Correct. Look how cute it is. I love it. And then this thankful for you with mm -hmm. a turkey lurkey on it. And it's so cute. It's adorable. And so I don't know. I'm not sure if there's another. I, I don't know if there's other ones in this series yet. I think there is. I think there's been one other release before this. Uh, a patri like summer. She has, she has a patriotic you. So probably um, she's got three or two or three. I don't know. I have to of look. the 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 you. Yeah, she's got quite because there's a few few. others that are like they look like they could be part of this, but they're not. Mm. So anyway, I'll go back in and look. Okay. And I got. Oh, I can't show this very. So it's a fall thread pack by Little House because that's a requirement because. It's a seasonal stitch mm -hmm. and it's adorable. It's got chickens. I can't start this yet. <laughs> the thread pack came with 15 Classic Color Works colors. Yes. And none of them are like they're new. not. They're not new. They're, they're just, just part of that thread pack. Yeah. But the only way to get the chart is to buy the thread pack. Yeah. And she does that sometimes. Yeah. Fall Feathers is the name of the chart. And I got Graveyard Guardian, which we've already showed. That is such a cool chart. It is. Oh, this isn't new, but it was a requirement. I couldn't not. Let's get talk. Those. Quilting by Hands on Design. Chalk Talk. Yeah, she has a cross stitch one too. Mm -hmm. It's adorbs. Oh, yeah. Okay. When I saw this at the retreat, I about fell out of my chair. And I told Lindsay from Counting Puddles, I said, ma'am, stop designing so many <laughs> amazing things because you're making it difficult. Okay. Right. Um, and I have the fabric on order for this, right? Yep. Yeah. It's coming. So it's called Books Are Magic by Counting Puddles. And the fabric is uh, Scotsman by, by Bestitch Me. And I did order some. Yes, it is coming. It is not in the shop yet. So the Stitch Crypt, they, okay, there were so many unique designs this time. Oh, man. Things that, like, were more darkish mm -hmm. and not so cutesy. And so, of course, I'm showing it to my husband. I'm showing him all the things. And he's like, oh, yeah, I like that. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I like yeah, that. Yeah, they're cool. They're cool. And I now have my youngest who's like, oh, let's get the creepy, scary blow-ups. Like, you know, like the things that <laughs> oh, go the in the yard. In the yard. <laughs> he wanted, like, a scary one. And I'm like, are you sure? And he's like, yeah, Mom. I want the one with the red eyes. I'm like, cool. Okay. And then my older two are like, because <laughs> they're like me and I like cute Halloween, like not cute scary Halloween. Halloween. Yeah, me too. Uh, but anyway, so I got this one, um, Halloween House. And I tried to find the fabric off of this um, dyer and it's kind of, they don't have all the counts. So I don't know if I got to it late and they sold out. So oh, I'm going to actually be. reach out to them and see if I can't, because I don't think they sell wholesale. I don't think they do either. Yeah. 
because I looked. And that fabric is really cool. And Dirty Annie's my girl. Trick or treat. And then I need the cat. There's a cat. Oh, there's a cat. Yes, there is a cat. She's going to be mad at me because I just bought it instead of telling her. Didn't you finish this? This looks like you're finished. That is mine. I'm like, that looks like Jeanette. That is a me. Yeah, oh, so and Annie, this Annie sent me, um, oh gosh, I think I've done probably 10 for her now. Mm. Finishes. That are going to upcoming releases. Yeah, and so this one, she sent me the fabric, the little guy already stitched, and then I made it into the pillow. So this is my, actually, that's my photography too. <laughs> yeah. So she's amazing. Yeah. I just, I love her. I can't even say enough good things about her. And Stitches by Ethel. So we have a story in our house. Um, squirrels are called Bob's. I don't know why it just okay, I was gonna ask why <laughs> so okay I think what happened was when we lived up in the mountains we obviously had more wildlife around us because we were in the mountains sure and there was a squirrel that um literally crawled up the side of our house and flung itself onto the bird feeder that was hanging from the roof oh my gosh and I had to go out there and squirt it to get it down. Because it was eating Because it was feed. eating the bird feed. And I'm like, you're going to break my bird feeder and I'm going to be pissed, right? So can you not? Well, then I thought it would be a brilliant idea. Like, why don't I feed the squirrel? Because, you know, by that time, my oldest, my middle wasn't really talking much yet. So he was still little. And so my oldest was like, let's name him Bob. I'm like, okay. So we named him Bob. Because I'm a stay-at-home mom. Bob at the this squirrel. Time. Yeah. I, stay at home, stay, I mean, you know, I live my life making quilts and playing with my kids. That's what I was doing, right? So we named him Bob, and I decided to feed a wild animal <laughs> out of my hands. I fed him strawberries. And he, like, it was so cute. He comes up, and he's like, and he goes, he grabs it, and he goes, <laughs> and then the freaking squirrel, like, tries to open the door to come in. He wanted to come live with us. Uh -huh. I was like, okay, that was a bad move. That was not smart. <laughs> I've learned. Like, what else you got in there? <laughs> I've learned. I don't do that anymore. <laughs> but ever since then, because we noticed that it was a family oh, that lived in the okay. pine tree across the street. Okay. And so he would, like, take things and run over there. And you could see the, the mom come down and, like, get the things and take it back up. And then it was like a little team, like Chip and Dale. <laughs> but I think it was a girl because she had different markings, right? So we different. called her Bobette. And go. Bob was... So anytime we see a squirrel, we're like, oh, look, there's Bob. It's a joke in our family. Okay, I love So it. my husband saw this. He's like, you must buy that. Yes. And you must stitch and it. And you must stitch it. Because it's Bob. I'm like, you're right. You need to somewhere, like, put Bob. in here, put the word Bob. Put the name, name Bob. Bob. Like, even in the pumpkin. In the something. pumpkin would be cute. So that's the story of Bob. Bob. And why it was a requirement. This was not on my radar to buy. And then he saw, he's like, you must buy that. You I'm must like, buy Add Bob. to cart. I'm Bob. like, okay. <laughs> so, yes. So that's what I got. This Three. isn't all I got, though. Yeah, you're missing four four things. Sorry. Not including fabric, right? Not including fabric. Because the fabric hasn't even shipped yet. So that's coming. Sorry. Sorry. I mean, I wasn't going to buy anything, but then I was told to. So I did. I have nothing to do with any no, of that. No, she didn't <laughs> tell me to. I was, no, never mind. No. Anyways, so that's all I, so okay. Some of this haul was from before we filmed last time, but I forgot to show it. So oh. this wasn't all. And oh, then, okay, yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like some of it was pre-ordered and some of it was gifts. But then also the other thing that happened. Um, so we're Black Needle Society peoples. We're affiliates. And um, they released that they are going to be having a Downton Abbey retreat. So, you know, I signed up for that. Mm -hmm. It's for months one and two, or seasons one and two. And so um, she finally started watching it. Finally. After I had my whole conniption about Branson. Uh -huh. You finally, you get it now, right? Yes, You of get course. it. Yes. Okay, see, you understand. Yes, of course. Oh, it's so good. Anyway. Well, okay, so just a little bit of backstory with the reason why, and it wasn't because I didn't want to watch the show. It's because you don't have time. But it, I don't have an opportunity where I can just sit and watch TV by myself uninterrupted. 
So she had to con her husband into wanting to watch I it. I just, so I brought it up to my kid, my girls, and I said, you know, do you guys have any interest in watching the show? And they're like, oh, yeah, yeah, we, we both wanted to watch it. So anyway, long story short. So we started watching it, and I think last night we binged like four episodes. And so we just started season three. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh -huh. In advance. And I already kind of know, I already know what happens. Did you look? Did you Not cheat? on purpose, but yeah. You don't even know what you're talking about. You just wait. So anyway... Yeah, so we're all upset about um, Mr. Bates and him oh no, you don't. Oh no, you don't even know being in anyway. So that's as far as we've gotten within the story and um, all the drama. There's so much friggin' drama. I know. There's so much that's drama. How I, for the record, that's how I like my drama is in TV shows. I don't like it in real life because and it sucks. None of it is actually realistic. Well, I guess it, it is realistic. Be, but anyway, it's can just, you it's, imagine how boring life was if you all you did all day was work? And so you have to create drama. High society and... And they just sit there in rooms and, like, do nothing. There's not even, like, I don't know a I radio do. to listen to. No. <laughs> like, so if someone wasn't musical, you didn't even hear music. Like, I am not sad about living in this day and age in the sense that we have so much technology to be able to, like, listen to things and watch things and I don't know. Hear I, I like the simple, you know, where someone would just sit down and play the piano. Yeah, but you would have to do that. True. But they were more educated. Like, I wish I knew how to play the piano. I'd just <laughs> sit down and play the piano, you know. Story time. I took a class in college. Like, I tried to take a class in college. And I know how to read music, sort of. Like, the basic mm -hmm. music. I'm not musical. <laughs> so, it's like, ding, 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 ding. <laughs> I didn't last. I was like, before, you know, because, you know, sometimes when you take classes at college, like, you can leave the class before a certain date and then it won't show up on your record. Oh, right, right. You have to withdraw. Yeah, so you withdraw yeah. before you get, like, the bad mark on your sure. transcript or whatever. So I, I left before <laughs> the like, end of that because I was like, I can't do this. Because it, it requires so much learning. It's true. That I just didn't have time for. And I was, you know, doing dance class and I was in, like, seven dance classes. Wow. So I was like... I don't have time to do this. We're spread a little thin anyway. Yeah. It's yeah. a lot. So it's anyways. Lot. There you go. I tried to play piano, but. That's I right. can play guitar. That's cool. See, that's cool. My hands are small though, so I have to use classical guitars. Like smaller oh, classical uh -huh. guitars. Because I have small hands. And like my teacher like would hit my hand if I went like this, you know, to like hold Oh. When you're doing things. And, like, he wanted it to be like this, where you're pushing your thumb on the back. Because then you can do, like, moving easier. Oh, interesting. But that's great if you have normal size hands. But I have, like, cabbage. <laughs> Not cabbage. Small hands. Yeah. Smells like cabbage. Like, that's literally, <laughs> like, my hands are so small that, like, actually, my oldest, his hands are almost as big as mine. He's oh. almost as tall as me. He has, like, this much left. Yep. And he's 11. He's going to be 12, 12. Almost 12. In a week. Yeah. A week from today's Tuesday. He's going to be 12. A week from today. Yeah. He'll be he'll be 12. And I'm like. He's going to be taller than you. Oh, but he read all the. He read Harry Potter. He mm -hmm. read the last two books of Harry Potter. Took it like a champ. I'm like, cool. You're ready for Hunger Games now. Oh, yes. Get you in on that. Let's get mm -hmm. you into some real dystopian. That, <laughs> talk about. Yeah, dystopia. <laughs> all right. So sure. that's all I got. But that's all I have. Do you to have anything? No, that's it. I kind of shared all of my stuff. I actually got done more cross-stitching the last few weeks than I expected, considering. I have had to force myself to actually take a break because I will stand at my computer all day. And when I was prepping for Marketplace, that's all I did. Well, that's kind of what you do, though. So When you're doing Marketplace or Market, mm -hmm. I told you. Oh, yeah. Oh, and I knew. I just... But I had to have something to do that was stepping away mm -hmm. from doing that yeah so I'm like come come do this with me okay it's a it's an excuse to leave my house yeah I'm like and yes so yeah and I've been walking every day because I have to get away from the computer for at least a half an hour yeah because it's not good to just stand there but yeah I was posting and photographs and all the things, all the things and now we're transferring everything over to the website um That's so it's exciting. been a, it's been a lot there's been a lot going on, but it's good. It's all good. It's progress. It's exciting. And, um, but yeah, there you go. So thank you. If you stuck around this long, Hmm. What should our emoji be? 
let's do a cup. I was going to say a cup. Like, you know. Yep, I was going to say like a, a cup. Like a coffee cup or a cup, tea cup. Mm -hmm. Cup of margarita, whatever, a cup. Any kind of cup. And then also, what is your favorite thing that you bought at Marketplace? Oh, yeah. Because that's fun to just hear. Yeah. Because what if we missed a chart? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's add that to the stash. Y yes, please. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Thanks for hanging out with us. And oh, that's for the one that I'm missing. Dealing with our shenanigans. Oh, what? The one that's... Yeah, that must be one that's still missing. Okay. I'm just thinking of, like... <laughs> What's missing from here? Hmm. What else did I order? I don't know. The, um, because I, it had a of... quilt. There's an Americana quilt. Oh, yeah. Quilt one. And then there was that one that was Halloween that was on mm -hmm. uh, Lap and the Loops. The Lap and Loops. Oh, I love Lap and Loops. Guys, do yourself a favor and go over to Megan's, um, website, Lap and Loops, L A P I N L O O P S. Mm -hmm. And she also has an Instagram. And check out her fabric because she doesn't do Ada yet. Um, cause I had the same conversation with her about that mm -hmm. with Ada is she has a hard time getting the dye lots to be, cause I mean, they never dye the same because mm -hmm. it's different fabric type, but anyway, so she only offers linen right now and some small batch Ada's mm -hmm. on some colors. And but. I have some coming linen. I have some lap and loops coming. Like um, grandpa's rag, shop rag, shop rag. Grandpa's oh, shop rag. So good. Anyways. Yeah. So yeah. Not That's a lot, of, not a lot of fabric to start, but um, I bought getting there. a little bit, and uh, so Good there'll be you. some. It's just not here yet. Good so anyway. for you. Good for you. But there you go. So thanks for hanging out yeah. and for sticking with us and a coffee cup or a mug or a margarita or something. Something, and we'll get those um, giveaways out this week. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, I already forgot. It's already over. It's under a pile <laughs> of stuff. I should I'll take. Stay on her, so. I should take a picture of what this tragedy is over here. <laughs> It's all right. It's she puts fun. everything back all nice, and I'm just like, hmm. well, I had to take it back home, so I figure my that's well, true. Whatever. When I'm at your house, I neatly put it uh -huh. back. Yeah. All right. All right, guys. We'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye. Bye.